and welcome to the Looking Good Nude Show, Episode 3, Scales. So, the scale, we're gonna go there. It's not that bad though, you can live with it, you can learn to love it. First thing is you need to have a good scale, good quality scale. Uh, I recommend getting a digital scale, uh, if you're gonna have a bathroom type scale. They seem to be more accurate, more reliable than the old spring type scales. Um, also, particularly like this one because it uh, tells uh, body fat percentage and uh, body water percentage, which is the most important part, I think. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But you need a good quality scale that's reliable, and you need to use it, use the same scale all the time to track your progress. And I suggest that you weigh yourself every day. Um, a lot of people try to weigh themselves once a week or every several days or whatever. And for me, that's an issue because you're uh, you, you're you don't have accountability for yourself when you're not weighing yourself every day. So when you weigh yourself every day, if you did bad the night before or the day before, it's going to show. So when you weigh yourself every day, you know you, you got to weigh yourself in the next day, and you, you know you might think twice before you eat that bad thing or, or skip a workout or do something like that. Um, another great thing about weighing yourself every day with a scale that does uh, body water percentages is your weight is going to fluctuate. Some days you're going to gain weight no matter how much you work out or how little you eat. It's just your, your body's natural. Your body wants to store extra energy. You know, it's always afraid that you're going to run out of energy, so it always wants to store energy. So sometimes it stores energy for no matter what you do, and you're going to see that in your hydration level is going to go up, and that's going to explain what that weight loss was for that day, or that weight gain was for that day, I should say. So um, get a good quality scale. If you can, get one that does uh, body fat percentage and hydration level. This is a one from Tanita. They're, they're a really well known brand, and I uh, got this. Target, I believe, is about fifty dollars, so it's not not super cheap, but it's a great tool and it's a good investment. And you're gonna have to learn to love this thing, or it will haunt you for the rest of your life. Okay, so now for my personal progress this week. Um, I weighed in this morning and I was 186.6, which is actually a loss of 1.8, so I'm just really overwhelmed, happy about how, how well this week went. And I'll talk about that in a minute. It was not exactly a smooth sailing week. Um, I also did my blood pressure this morning just to see where I was at in my 119 over 78, so that's pretty good. That's right at the top of the normal range, so that's fine with me um, and so um, eating <laughs> uh, last week was my best friend's birthday and his girlfriend came up with this plan to rent a limo and drive to a restaurant out of town that we'd never been to before so we rented a H2 limo which was really fun and we drove to a place down south of here in Ocala called Ipanema and it's a Brazilian steakhouse and it's very expensive and it's all you can eat so that was uh, a <laughs> that was a really tough issue for me to deal with spending a lot of money at an all-you-can-eat place and trying to limit the amount I was eating um, I actually did cut myself off earlier than I wanted to um, I regretted it a bit later afterwards. I was really disappointed in myself that I didn't allow myself to enjoy it as much as I would have liked. Um, but, you know, the night was more than just about the food. It was, you know, spending time with friends and celebrating my friend's birthday. And we did that and I had a blast. <clears throat> so it, it wasn't, you know, I had a little bit of regret, but I've gotten over it. I've gotten past that. And, you know, I'm still here, I'm still alive. <laughs> I lost almost two pounds this week, so it, it wasn't terrible. Um, the rest of the week I ate, you know, I, I knew about that ahead of time, so I tried to eat really good and stay on, stay on my diet, and uh, I did really well with that. So, all in all, I did pretty good. I did a... Uh, I did just my normal workouts this last week. I did uh, start doing some push-ups in my uh, 
in my exercise routine, so hopefully that'll help with my uh, upper body strength and build some more muscles there where I feel I need to build some muscle. And I also it did increase my running. Uh, increased, I was running about a mile and a half, and I've increased that to two miles. And it's, it's tough, but I'm still able to make it without stopping, so that's good. And I will continue to push myself on that, and maybe in another month or two, maybe I'll increase it a bit more. But it's going well. So what I, was, what, I was, what I was saying is my camera cut off was that uh, things have been going well for me this week and uh, I hope things are going well for you. Stick with it. Don't give up. And I will catch you guys next week. Bye. -bye.